we back, we back, we back, we back, we back. Get it, uh, get it. With the shoulder roll, with the shoulder roll on them, on them, on them, on them. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another uh, show with uh, Living Day by Day Radio Show, brought to you by a mega Atlanta Radio. <laughs> That's yeah. a commercial right there. Yeah, that's, that's a commercial right there. <laughs> Man, we so happy to be back again another Monday from 8 to 9. I'm one of the uh, kings and two queens uh, of the podcast world, the greatest show in the world, in the land, uh, on the south side, west side, whatever you want side you want to be on. <laughs> uh, but we are the number one baddest podcast that's out there. Once again, I'm your uh, one of the hosts, the king himself, comedian E. Love Jordan. And I can't rock the mic by myself. I have two beautiful ladies, and I was telling them earlier, man, I'm a lucky brother. I get <laughs> not only one beautiful sister, I get another beautiful sister, too. Ew. Uh, I think they are available, fellas, so if you are looking for a, a, a queen, a but you got to have some good coins. Uh, but they are available for consultation. They just need to have an application <laughs> filled out because they are not taking no mess, not only because it's COVID, because you can't be broke. All right, but put, put your hand together for the one and only Miss LaKeba Wallet. And because this mortgage is due every first. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fam, what's up? Welcome to another edition of the Living Day by Day show. Yeah, yeah. As E has said, we are so excited, guys, to be broadcasting live right here at Mega Atlanta Radio. And I tell you, it is going to be be lit tonight yep. today this evening wherever you might be in the this part of this amazing world but before i jump into the motivational moment i'm gonna kick this thing over i said that y'all know i'm a little ghetto sometimes i'm gonna kick this thing over to another incredible bad host yeah, yeah. of the living day by day show miss vegas is in the building Woo-hoo! what's good my kings and queens i am so happy to be back with y'all another week we had a nice week did yes. y'all enjoy y'all weekend I, the yeah, time? it was really good. Was good it was chill yeah nothing crazy good. it rained a little bit but then you know the sun came out every time i went put my rain suit on and it, it don't rain that long that's why i, I know i rain put my rain suit, suit on <laughs> Yeah. No, don't, don't go nowhere uh-uh. she's okay. trying to be bad um uh, i put a, a rain suit on because i work outside uh, and then, then that's when the rain stops. See, y'all be y'all think it's well, me that be acting up. It's be the ladies in this room because I only say no, what they no, be no. thinking. Right? Because I, I say so what crazy. they think, and then I get in trouble because they like, ah, uh, it's going left, I'm but they done. were thinking it. I'm done. I did want to ask y'all what did y'all do over the week because I was not here. So yeah, you know, we I missed just, it. You. Thank you. I was so I was like, oh, she's safe. I was like a dad, like you gonna be all right. I was about to text you like seven times. You all right? You yeah, good? I was you need good. gas? Uh, you you good? No. Can you see? Uh, are you driving <laughs> in the dark? I, right. <laughs> you got you, your glasses. You got on. your raincoat. <laughs> you got your raincoat. You got I'm your glasses on. It didn't rain. Well, it did rain, ladies and gentlemen, after the event. But God gotcha. held the rain off oh, that's what's up. for us to be able to have a wonderful event. I went out to West Virginia, uh, Beckley. Okay. Nice. And that state. Now let me tell y'all something, because I was driving, <laughs> mm-hmm. and I was I wasn't expecting to see some of the things that I seen. Oh, which wait, oh what you see? Wait a minute, what you what uh, you up what on you the had, hillside? What you had seen? I yeah, seen yeah. What you seen? You, know, you seen some goats? Some no, 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 I seen some things that I Ooh, wasn't expecting to uh-oh. see. You know, because oh, what you saw? But anyway, it was up on the hilltop, and okay. the flag was just going back and forth. But it oh. was a. Um, Red. Oh, you saw a Confederate flag. Okay. Yes. Wow. Okay. And then okay. I said, okay, am I in the right state? But then I had to think about it. I said, yeah, yeah you're in the, you're right, in the right state. state. And then um, I look in my rearview mirror and then I see like this truck, you know, like you see out of the movie, like one of those types uh, of trucks with the window shield blacked out. Absolutely. But the only thing you seen in the window shield was the dice. Right. And they were Confederate too. I said, Uh-oh. oh, <laughs> let me hurry up and get my knife out my pocket. <laughs> you know, I said I wish. <laughs> I wish it would. Yes, <laughs> yes, but that's it, when my carpet turns a tank. <laughs> I knock not. everybody over. <laughs> so I had a wonderful time, ladies and gentlemen, nice. with uh, Mrs. Barbara Charles, awesome. uh, mother co-founder, president of the NAACP out yes. there. Nice. Uh, yes. I am definitely going to get that lovely queen back down here to Atlanta, Georgia. We can't wait. We can't wait. So Amazing. we can be able to be. A part of this platform, living That's day by up. day. Awesome! So I'm, I'm excited, Miss. 
Wallace. Yes. Boom. What did you do this week? Listen, way? Oh. I tell you, God is always good. I am just so excited to always just be booked and busy mm -hmm. and to be about my business. God is just doing amazing things uh, in my life. And I cannot, I cannot really complain, although we often say, we, you know, we all got something to complain about. But right. I stay in the positive things that God is doing in my life and, and never giving light to those negative things. Mm -hmm. So, so right. a great week for me, as always. Still grinding. I'm working on getting my real estate license in Alabama. Nice. Okay. Um, let me find as out. As well sell as it, sell in it Florida. Let me find out. What you doing? What Look you doing? You. What you doing, girl? What you doing? Getting them coins. <laughs> Give me $5. Getting them coins. <laughs> hey, getting just, them coins. <laughs> you know, as a brother, I was like, uh, I need to borrow some money. <laughs> no, you clearly. don't. You, you good with them shirts over that smile every day, baby. So what you, what you got what, going on, E? Man, I, you know, so I we've been, uh, yeah, I've been in, I've been in the lab working yeah, yeah, on some yeah, jokes. That was a tongue twister. And then, uh, yeah, got, uh, yeah, stop it. Okay, well, behave. Stay in the lab. Uh, stay in been, the lab. I've been in the lab. Stay in the lab. <laughs> e, stay in the lab. She like messing with me. I've uh, been in the lab, so I got my shirts. And my shirts are back now. And then also I got some candles that I'm doing because yes. my whole sexy. thing is yeah they got got some sexy oh. candles so it can make your bedroom smell good for whatever wow. you want to do or your house you may not be in the bedroom you might want to be in your house <laughs> so you just want to be in your house making your house smell good so I got the the sexy candles gun. Um, and then I got my smile everyday shirts because mm -hmm. you got to awesome. smile through the pain yes. I love that yeah so that's what I've been up to mm. you know what I think that's another one you got you said you had one smile through the pain. I know that I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. You need one. to do that. Smile That's, through the pain. I like that one awesome. for you. Mm -hmm. Smile for a uh, smile through the pain. Oh yeah! Wow! Yeah. Bam! I write it up. Yes, I put sir. it together. Well, mm -hmm. we have to welcome our guests before I get into the yeah. motivational moments, guys. We are excited to have some backup in the room because you know E be going left all the time. No, I don't. So y'all, please help me welcome mm -hmm. our guest. She's gonna say hi to everybody. Tell them who you are. Hello, everybody. My name is Minister Sandra Mason. Yes. Awesome. Yes, guys. So we're gonna kick the show off so we can stay on time because we got an engineer here in the building, guys. Yes. And what does that mean? That means stay on time, pay for what your coins have paid for, yes. and don't go over that. <laughs> yes. That's what that means. Hello. The mics will stop working. The mics will stop <laughs> working after your coins run out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The, if we that's if you don't hear us effect. no more, that means the coins done ran out. Okay. Um, the done. sound effects are uh, <laughs> awesome oh today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That means the coins, the coins are ran all the way out. He okay? is on it today. I love it. <laughs> but guys, I always like at the top of the show to to bring a motivational moment because you know I often say I need to be motivated. You know I don't know about y'all, yes. but sometimes you know the naysayers be trying to get you know that monkey be trying to get on my back, mm -hmm. and you know I gotta I gotta keep it right. So the motivational moment is coming from Psalms twenty five and five, the NIV version, mm -hmm. and it says, "Guide me in your truth and teach me." For you are God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Mm -hmm. And here's what I get from that. We all have to stop allowing our issues, our concerns, our trials, our tribulations, mm -hmm. our burdens, and watch this, even our thoughts and our actions to guide us into something that God don't even want us to be in. Mm. Only God should have the power to guide you into truth. To guide you into, into the truth that says that you are the head and not, not the, the tail. tail. Come on, yes. the truth that will guide you in to say that God is always with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Yes. So you have to get to the point to where you understand that. Let God <laughs> guide you into those positive things mm -hmm. and stop guiding yourself into the negative things. Mm. So I'll leave you with this: Let God guide you and teach you while you keep your hope in Him. You know what? So wow. listen, wow. come, come, come on with that now. Do the clutch. Okay. <laughs> no. So why does that kind of coincide with my motivational uh, quote for because today Because we too? we sisters like that. You okay. Know, all right. My, <laughs> y'all was like y'all blending together, but like, yeah. women sync up on several issues. Right. And y'all will sync up. You know, y'all hang around long enough. Y'all be like this. Absolutely. I have to know what time the month it is. Yeah, because my I'm not playing with you, but anyway, <laughs> um, mine said trust in the Lord with all your uh, heart. Come Oh. And lean not on your own I understanding. Love that, sis. Wow. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. I love that. Wow. That is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Yes. Come so, on. Sit okay. Let me find with out. The see, Bible we scriptures. always <laughs> see that's the problem with us. A lot of us, we do lean on to our own understanding. Yeah. Mm. That's why we get lost a lot of times. Absolutely. Right. And when we get lost, what we do? 
Jeez, can you help me out? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Can you exactly. Hear, do you hear me now? Absolutely. You know? And um, we just need to stop going off course a lot of times. See, we Absolutely. always want yes. to take our detours in life, mm-hmm. and then we get, like I said, get messed up, and then you want to jump back on the ship. But he ain't, he ain't went nowhere. And mm-hmm. this, that's funny. All y'all have motivational quotes. I got one too. Okay. Uh, let, me and, and my, my, and, let me turn the video and, off right and now. My <laughs> motiva- my uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Just, uh, <laughs> my motivational quote is that if you don't have the right amount of change. To get on the bus, don't get on the bus. That's right. I like that. Yes, I got. And you. that comes from um, that- Marta One Five Thirty Two. <laughs> Marta. And it's Marta. It's I got Marta. You. You got Marta. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. That was one bus. Make I sure cannot. I don't get on that bus. Yes, exactly. Mm. If thou that, if thou has not the right amount of change, thou would not be right. <laughs> you are. You know what? We gonna go ahead and get into. What's in the well, you know, before we do that, we have a minister that is in the building also. Mm -hmm. And what are your thoughts about those two scriptures? How do they apply to you as you, you know, you walk this life day by day? Yes, I do. I walk this life day by day. And, you know, it's it's empowering. It's, you know, it's it's every day something you need to read and, and just apply it to your life every single day. I would I would challenge anybody. I love Apply it. it to your life. I yeah, love I that. Like I love okay. that. Well, we're going to go ahead and get into what's in the news. I typically have some music, but uh, E ain't get his check today. <laughs> and so I'm just going to, I'm just going to, you know, I'm ad lib. So oh, wait a minute. Welcome was... to what's in the news. <laughs> well, he got part in of his check, news. y'all. I'm still Where working on the other half. <laughs> Oh, the first thing, guys, that I want to talk to you about, I'm going to be a news anchor. Me, me, you, you know, me, I'm going to be a news anchor. Gonna go ahead, but go anyway, go what's in the news today, guys, is Dr. Barbara Tennille Crawford. Okay. Mm-hmm. Girl, you don't went left, okay? Mm. A licensed Uh-oh. medical practitioner from Las Vegas, Nevada, Uh-oh. allegedly paid two female judges to influence the proceedings of the court that is handling the, the divorce case with her ex husband. Shady. Mm-hmm. She, acu- she is accused of paying over half a million dollars mm, in bribes to what? turn the tables of the court proceeding in her favor. Okay. Oh, Turning the tables of the court proceeding for Dr. Barbara favor uh-huh. will have allowed her to not only just pay a small amount of alimony, but to also take over a company she and her husband co-owned. Mm, wow. Girl, what are you doing? I'm not going to pay she nobody tried, half a million dollars. She, she just messed it up. For, she just messed it up for all the sisters out there trying to get some money. She about to lose everything. <laughs> Oh, oh my real. God! Get a man. What's do his? Well, first of all, Dr. Dre should have hired whoever she got. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> <really. laughs> but it didn't work. I'm just saying. But oh my it, God, uh, man. I'm done. <laughs> and you know what? Wow. I, I will say this and we'll move on to the next one because we do have a guest in the building because oftentimes, and, and I'm sure E will chime in on this, oftentimes we think it's the man yeah. that is trying to keep all of his wealth and his riches from, right. you know, his, his sweet young thing who don't want him no more, mm-hmm. you know, but clearly Dr. Barbara Tennell Crawford. She bought them coins. She bought them coins. She said, you would not. Getting ready. Let me just say it the way it's supposed to be said. You're not Finsta. 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 You're not Finsta get my coins, okay? <laughs> well, it also says in the word, uh, a, a woman scorn <laughs> will get you. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I paraphrase that. That's in the. Uh, uh, that's in Marta too? In, in, that's the modern okay, version right. of the Bible. <clears throat> uh-huh. she, a woman scorn will take all your coins. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's, it is really cheaper to keep them. It's so. cheaper to keep them. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes they don't want to stay. Up. Sometimes they don't want to stay around. So you got to just you know, go with the chips fall. <laughs> don't. I'm all like this. It's maybe cheaper to keep them, but why stay somewhere where you ain't want it? Yeah, no. What right. we doing? Oh, all that right, was a guys. different topic. Okay, okay let's keep good, going. good, good, good. So that we gonna keep on going. Okay, so because that wasn't in the news, but he put it in the news. Okay. Anyway, the next thing that is okay. what's in the news is Dr. Dre Uh-oh. is back in the news again. Okay, listen to this, guys. So Dr. Dre's 38 year old daughter, Latanya Young, mother of four kids, says she's homeless. She's broke. Oh wow. And living out of her rented vehicle. Mm. Latanya states that her current financial situation is not good. Mm. And her dad, Dr. Dre, whose net worth is reported to be $800 million, refuses to help her. Latanya further stated that she has been working as a food delivery driver for DoorDash and Uber Eats 
and uh, as an assembler at a warehouse. Mm. But she still is not able to make ends meet. Okay, so um, I know you didn't slide that question over to me, but I was just... Take it, take it. Uh, yeah. Your daddy don't owe you nothing. Absolutely. Your mama don't owe you nothing. When you are of age as an adult... You have the responsibility to get out here and get your own coins. I don't care. It is your mama or your daddy, and they are millionaires. They still don't owe you nothing. Nope. You know, I have um, some things with on my family side. I feel like certain people feel like we owe them something. As your children, you know, you you know, you got some parents like, oh yeah, I believe my kids should be doing this for me and doing that for me because I did all of this for them when they was growing. That was your job, right? I didn't. We didn't. Absolutely. We didn't. I didn't ask to be here. So right, right. it shouldn't be that once I get older, I should pay you back. What you think about that? E? Because I don't think my kids gonna. Um, you know, that's why I got. <laughs> I have enough so I can you know go to house to house uh, when I'm older. But you know, I can't guarantee all of them gonna want to take me in. He so that's why I got. Home. Home. That's, why I got home. that's why I got. That's why I got four. Because if, home. Cause if two of them say uh, nurse home, we two of them be like, you know what? Daddy can come live with me. He said, and come hang out. Straight to the nurse hall. You know, he said, this is why I'm going to house to house. <laughs> so, but no, I don't think you're, 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 nobody owes you anything. And then if you are, because you're putting it out there, we don't know the whole context. It's always two, two, two sides, sides of every story. Right. You can yell and say, my daddy making 80, 800 million. So what if your dad was making 10 million? It right. don't mean that he owe you anything. Even don't though it's his child, right? You still got you're a grown a woman. Ooh, you need to be out there making out your there. own coins. You know, you need <laughs> to make enough. You, you if, if for anything, you should have soaked up the knowledge that he got so you could have a uh, uh, hundred million dollars. Uh, learn something. Oh, you, no, you can at least have four or something. First you of all, know? you Same. know, you can intern. You could have interned with him this whole time mm-hmm. and and made enough to be able to support yourself. You know, find out what's going on with the world and what you want to do. What you want to do. What what's your ambition? What you want to do? The other daughter is figuring out her ambition. Yes, he she may be more prevalent in her life, but does it mean that she's not gonna struggle? You got look at Trump. Trump lost. He lost. His dad was worth billions, and he don't lost all the billions. Yeah, and, right. and he's like you know floating on um, thin ice. But so it doesn't matter. You, you don't just because your father or your mother or whoever is has money doesn't obligate think that you're gonna be able to get. You know you gonna they should be able to have to help you. Right. Now on the other hand. Come on, dude. That's your daughter. <laughs> I mean, but you know, it, 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 build, yeah. I ain't say you got to pay nothing. Build a relationship. I mean, you got grandkids out there. I mean, uh, I don't know if she destitute, she did door that's whatever. You know, you, can, you got eighty million. You can give them at least five dollars. Five dollars. You know, people put gas in their tank. You know, you ain't got to. I do mean, that she could have been okay with just one meal. That could at least set up. But then again, yeah. you got you got some children that are right. greedy. Right. right. They like you, my daddy. You should be giving me more money. I than should. Me. I should be living in a house next to you. Yeah. Well, we gonna see what our guests think. But before I say that, I think there's a hidden, you know, factor to this. You know, yeah. nobody really knows what Dr. Dre has already done for her. True. Sometimes True. you have children. You know, you have children of you know stars that they just you know don't want to do anything. Oh, my daddy got. My mama got. Well, what do you have? You know, because in the event this scenario happens. How do you sustain yourself? Right. You have to put yourself in a situation to be able to sustain yourself. And I know we're not talking about marriage and stuff like that. The same thing goes for a wife and a husband. You know, ladies, sustain. I look in the camera, Kiba. Sustain yourself because when he go left, (laughs) you need to stay right. right. I mean, you're going to be able to keep your zip code because you tripping. Yeah. I'm not packing my things up and going nowhere. Okay. Nope. Yes. So what do you think about that? I mean, what do you think? Do you think Dr. Dre should be paying her bills or what? Miss Mason. Uh, well, it's two sides. <laughs> right. It's two <laughs> sides. Right, right. Two sides. <laughs> well, I will say that, you know, you say. all y'all had to, you know, y'all was right about what y'all was saying. But on the other hand, there's no way. In the world, yeah. my father going to have all this money, and I don't have a business. Come I don't on, have my own sis. Home. I got to have something. I love that. Mm-hmm. I have to have something. Something was going to, you know, he's going to, you know, give me a business. Go to him with a business plan. Right. right. Mm. 
Yeah. I so, love that. Well, that's, I mean, I think that's why I'm saying that he does not owe her nothing. It's something that's within her. Everybody has a gift or a talent or something. But I even that feel. That he could have did, like you said, come to him with a business yes. plan and he would have been like. And then again, again, y'all, like you said, there's two sides to every story. So we don't know. He maybe did give us some money and she didn't ran out of it. She maybe <laughs> smoked it up. She smoked maybe didn't did something. Stop smoking, sis. Tricked it off. Stop like, we don't know. Mm-hmm. You know, so. But she yeah. got a job at DoorDash, so she's doing something. Mm-hmm. She delivering food. Apparently, they paying the bills. And she should be getting a whole bunch of money because COVID going on right now. Everybody trying to eat at home. So Stimulus she, check. <laughs> her check should be kicking in right about wow. now. <laughs> and so you can't go nowhere right now. And, and not only that, sis, I hope you're listening out here, uh, Miss La- Latanya Young, that there is rental assistance out there that will Tell pay them. your rent yeah. up for oh. eight. 18 yep. months. Listen to so this. Google that wherever you live at. We don't know where you live at, but Google that, and I promise you there is some assistance out there for you. Well, that's going to wrap up our first segment, guys, yes. of what's in the news. We thank you so much for just stopping by our first segment to hear all the amazing things. Of course, the motivational moment. Yeah. But we got to pay some bills, guys. So hey. we're going to go into a commercial break. But while we're on break, guys, we, guys, we want you to make sure that you Facebook somebody, Instagram somebody. Let them know that the Living Day by Day show, guys, is broadcasting live right now yep. on mm-hmm. Mega Atlanta Radio. MegaATLRadio.com. MegaATLRadio.com. Streaming 24-7 on the Mega Atlanta Radio app. Mega Atlanta Radio app. Driving means... Freedom. Exploration. Fun. Pride. Flexibility. Travel. Protection. Ability. Friendship. Excitement. Escape. Independence. Distracted driving means. Danger. Recklessness. Irresponsible. Chaos. Police. Devastation. Injury. Tears. Death. Safe driving means staying alert and staying alive. Visit StopTextStopRex.org, a message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, Noise, and the Ad Council. Long ago, you wouldn't think of galloping on a horse while doing calligraphy. And you wouldn't have attempted to ride your bike while typing a letter. Yet you think you can safely operate a multi-ton vehicle while texting? Behind the wheel is no place to multitask. If you want to BRB, drive now and text later. Lives depend on it. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Project Yellow Light. Noise and the Ad Council. MegaATLRadio.com. MegaATLRadio.com. Streaming 24 7 on the Mega Atlanta Radio app. Mega Atlanta Radio app. What's up, everybody? We are back. We are back. We are back. If you missed the first half of a Living Day by Day radio show on the Mega, Mega Atlanta Radio, man, you missed a handful. Man, we had. In the news, we had a motivational moment with Ms. LaKeeper, where it came from Psalms 25.5, and she talked about a great lot of things in the news, but now we're going to switch gears, and we're going to jump into what we call Hot Topics. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm still, waiting, I'm still waiting for uh, a Hot Topic music, but, but I'm going to keep doing it myself. Yeah, I like that. That's why I keep... You need to keep that. Okay, so yeah, maybe, maybe GR will record me saying that, and then we'll just get it. Hot Topics. Mm-hmm. Uh, got it. Mr. Five Special Guest, if you want to know where that sound comes from, I think all great artists should end their songs <laughs> with... Uh, <laughs> it makes the song better. All right, yeah, so let's go ahead. like that, too? Uh, yes yes so let's go ahead and jump into hot topic number one hot topic number one so we know we had the olympics the olympics just ended and uh alex felix became the most decorated woman in a u.s athlete uh in track and field history Uh wow she's got a gold medal u.s track and star alex felix earned on saturday by the four by four uh meter relay race Uh and marched a huge milestone um, she's like I said, she's the most decorated U.S. athlete in a track and field history. Mm, and if you running. saw the race, how they were running. <laughs> oh, my uh-huh. God. Oh, my God. You thought the police and dogs were behind uh, these women. These shoot. women had their back straight and they were jugging them. Yes. Legs were flying back mm-hmm. and they had bikini shorts on <laughs> while they were running because they had got to get the wind resistance. I said, man, the these ladies. bikini shorts got to do with the race, though. <laughs> you, first of all, you track and field, they got the, they got Look bikini me. shorts on. No, no, no. no. I ain't gonna judge me about what I saw. <laughs> this is what I saw. They had a bathing suit on 
of bottoms <laughs> and they were swimming. And they, 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 they could have jumped in the swimming pool and ran track. And he's like, he's going to straighten this out right here. Y'all not going to judge me on what I saw. Because <laughs> you need to see the race yourself. You're like, why they got bikini shorts on? Because that's what they want. Because it helps him, with the wind y'all. resistance while oh, they the, run. The wind, the wind going up in I'm the what? In the leg, in the butt, what? I'm just saying, they ran faster. <laughs> but they did real good when I said these women were running. Oh my God! Yeah, they do be women, running though. Mm-hmm. They got and Aero it was like they had some speed on them. Miss <laughs> Cross said aerodynamic. They were, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Their shorts were aerodynamic. <laughs> well, they won the old school uh, seventy shorts. These other uh, what? Uh, 19, 19. Uh, two nineteen two two thousand twenty one shorts. I'm done. <laughs> they skin tight. <laughs> All right, so we got to go ahead and go into number topic number two. Okay. All right, topic number two. Now, the Olympics in Tokyo has already ended, but do you want to know where they're going next? Where? They are going to Paris. Paris? It's going to be in Paris in okay. 2024. Uh-huh. It's where the Olympics will be in Paris. So if y'all want to go ahead and get your tickets now, Book it for 2024 if we ain't, you know, the, if COVID ain't took us out. Right. So, Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nah. It ain't going to take us Wait out. I'm just saying, either, either, you know, we got all these zombie movies. I'm thinking, are we going to have zombies? I already got my stuff in my bag. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. COVID to go zombies? Ready. The rest of the zombies. If I see anybody chewing on something that ain't like food, I, I am so ready. That's the COVID zombie? Uh, COVID zombie. I see somebody coughing and go, I'm, I'm shooting them on sight. Okay, you better don't cough around me I'm and done. go, Ugh, I'm going to shoot you. I'm <laughs> I'm just like, no. Miss Mason over Ms. here Mason crying. Miss Mason can't even hold the camera to show me. Let me help you out, Miss Mason. <laughs> She'll be a crying. She'll be a crying. But I'm saying, you know, you see all them zombie moves and people be like, what's going on? Are you all right? I'm not asking no questions. You, you cough and go, hey, I'm going to pop up. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to run you over with my cough. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, mama. I'm <laughs> okay. All right. Let's, let's keep going. All right. I, I, this I is I'm hot done. topic number three. I'm done. All right. So I'm going to switch it up. So I'm going to be doing on my hot topics. One of the things I'm going to be doing, I'm going to give you an old school song, an old school R&B Song of the week. Okay. This is something that you will want to listen to over and over and over and over again. Uh-oh. Put it on your playlist. Mm-hmm. This you are you ready for the song? Mm-hmm. We ready. is Kenny Latimer, his song okay. for you. Oh, that wow. is a jam song. I've been listening. I was listening. Is, uh, say it again. Which it's one? for you. The song for you. Sing, sing someone. Oh, I can't sing that song. D- don't do it. Don't, no, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't let her take you down that lane. She got, don't do uh, it. Uh, no, she want me to sing. <laughs> Kenny Latimer, it's don't. for you. Okay. Hold on. All right. Is yeah, for it? you. Okay. Oh, that's the Kenny Lanamore song for you. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah, for, for you. you. Mm-hmm. Okay, we don't okay. own the rights to this for song, but they in the studio, yeah, so yeah. they're sharing it anyway. Right. Uh-huh. But, but, yeah, so I, mean, I just realized we're going to get kicked out. Right, we're trying that. to get kicked out. Uh, G.O.I. Uh, got to be like, ah, are you Wait a minute now. That? What are we doing? Are you going to play that? We love you, though, Kenny. <laughs> I just played the listening. I get the intro. Um, but no, yeah, so that's the old school song. So go ahead and take a listen to that. It's Kenny Latimer for you. So go ahead and listen to that, and you put that in your playlist, <laughs> and get one of my candles, and you may have a good night. Yes, get one of the candles. <laughs> Bam. Yes, get one of them good smelling good candles, put them candles on there, and then play a little Kenny Latimer, and then get Miss Mason's to pray for you, because your <laughs> night's going to be good. So that is my hot topics. Mm-hmm. All right, now we're going to switch gears and pass it on over to Miss Vegas. Thank you so much, King. I truly appreciate your hot topics and things like that. Oh my um, God. Definitely, y'all. Uh, y'all know, if y'all don't know, Eric is a comedian and stuff, and he has us in there. My jaws be so tired sometimes, <laughs> but I'm truly appreciative of having the laughter because we definitely need that in these times right now. Mm-hmm. And so we're going to get into my segment of a little questions. I have some questions and I would love some answers from y'all. Got you know what I'm saying? Your questions be deep. I, I'm Look. sorry. I'm a realist. I, I see. I, and I then see. once I get into that, then I will definitely introduce our guest and we're going to get into listening and knowing more about her. But my first question is, why do people have vigorous appetites mm. for trying to figure things out, but... Yet the world presents a series of endless events. Okay, ask the question again. Okay. Okay. It's kind of like a that was, it was like a three part question. Yeah, yeah. Like, you asked me like, like you did a, yeah. a whole date thing. Do you like me? Yes, yeah. no. Check. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and what's my color? Favorite color? Like you asked all three questions in one. I'm like, oh my god. Let me okay. say that question again. The question was, why do people have vigorous appetites? Okay. For trying to figure things. out out but yet 
the world presents a series of endless events. Mm. Okay. I think I have an answer for you. Okay. All right. So it, people want to know the reason why they're here. Okay. You know, what's, what's my purpose? Okay. And why, what do I want to cover? But now we're in the generation of I got to have it now generation. Okay. And so you, you got old school people saying, you know, you got to, it takes time to build what you want, but you got people that even a minute rice take too long. Okay. They're like, ah, hurry up, rice. And it's only, it only takes a minute. Right. And I think that if we're, because we're in a me, I want it now generation, that they're always trying to figure it out. Uh, and they, they're they like, oh my God, I'm 21. I need to know what's going on. No, you don't. Uh, I'm 50 and I'm still trying to figure it out. Right. And I still got time. So, you know, but, you know, I think we're in this world of, I got to have it now. Mm-hmm. And that's where all the endless events take place because you're not really. You jumping around from place to thing to thing to thing and not taking the time to really figure it out. Mm-hmm. Right, right. And then mm-hmm. if you take the time to figure it out, you won't have the series of endless events. Those crazy things that take place and happen to you. In the meantime, between those dashes. Mm-hmm. Right, right. You right, see right, what I'm right, saying? Right. As, as your birthday, what do you think, Lakeep? You know, I, I think people are just going to do what they want to do. True. You know, their expectations, you know, what, what they feel, how things should t- turn out. Uh-huh. You know, I, I was talking to someone on my drive into the studio today mm-hmm. and... You know, it just seems like a certain generation is just it's just no trying to convince them to do this or do that, you know, r- regardless of what they see. It, mm-hmm. c- it could be endless. But, you know, some people are just going to continue to do what they want, regardless right. of what it is. You know, and like he said, they want it now. They want it quick. They want right. to be able. Hence, that's why you see a lot, you know, and I'm going to go there. You know, that's why you see a, a lot of robbery, a lot of, you know, people breaking yeah. in because you don't want to sit on nobody 40 hour a week job. That's probably going to work you about 60 hours a week mm-hmm. on salary. Yeah. You rather you know, sit around and watch somebody leave their house, mm-hmm. break into their house, steal their stuff because it's quick, fast, in a hurry. Even though it's going to have a, a bad result for you, you still just, you know, you don't, you don't want to be able to work for nothing. It's just a generation these days, unfortunately, that are in that position. Right. Okay. So what do you think, Miss Mason? Well, to me, this generation is endless. <laughs> It's, it's no end. They want to mm. do what they want to do, say Absolutely. what they want to say. Right. You know, there's no filter. There's no end. It's we just want to do us. We just want to do what we want to do. We, You know, they, to me, it seems like they trying to make a statement. Yeah. Mm. They, they, don't want to, they don't want to be like the last generation. Gotcha. Yeah. And they really making that known I love with that. everything mm-hmm. they right. want they making a big statement we're going to do what we want say what we want and that's it yeah, yeah. Well, well mr carson he's on my live and he said with the advent with the advent and advancement of technology all the wonders have been explained away Wow, mm. that was great. That, that was amazing. You know, uh, okay. Mr. Umar, you are. <laughs> <laughs> he looked just like Mr. I swore it down last week. He was at the event that I was at. And I swore it down that was Dr. Umar. Right? Oh, wow. That's his twin. Wow, right. wow. Mm-hmm. Well, we all have a doppelganger. Yes, yeah, so wow. like that. Mm-hmm. All right, then. Let's get into our second question, which is something very simple, you know, because I know who I am. I okay. am, but I would like to know from each and every one of y'all, what do you feel about, are you an asset or a liability? <laughs> to some people, I'm an asset. Some people, I'm a liability. Okay. Explain it. Uh, I think, you know, it depends on who, where you are in my life. Okay. Uh, you know, or what am I doing? We you know what I bring to the table in that person's life. Okay. You know, some people be like, ah, you. And then some be like, ah, you. You. Okay. You know, so I mean, but we, I think we are all, you know, we can all say we're an asset to whatever we're doing, but sometimes you are a li- liability. You got to move yourself out of a situation where that uh, at work, somebody called me, was asking me a question mm-hmm. and I could have been like, oh no, I'm an asset in this situation. Right. But I was like, no, I'm a liability. I don't know what, I don't know how to help you with that. I can't help you. So I taunt them, turned them to someone that could be an asset to help them with whatever they were dealing with. Right. And so we, I think when, when it comes to this question right here, yes, you can be an asset to in so many different areas. I mean, some areas, is when, I, when, I, when I think about the word liability, I mean, like, you got to be honest with yourself. You don't know everything. Right. right. So sometimes you can, you can hurt and hinder the situation. You got to be like, I, ain't, I don't know this. Right. Let me sit down. Okay. Right. So 
I appreciate you for answering that question and things like that. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to get into our guest of the hour. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) And I would love to be able to introduce this lovely, lovely lady to you. Queen, on top of that, she is a minister. She is also an entrepreneur. And she is also a a woman of divine purpose. Her name is Mrs. Sandra Mason. How you doing, Miss Mason? Oh, yes, y'all help me welcome Miss yes. Mason. Welcome to the Living yes. Day by Day show. Oh, thank you. We thank appreciate you, you for coming. Me. Yes, Queen. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm just a woman from New York. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm from New York. Um, I am from Freeport, Long Island. Uh huh. I migrated here, migrated Mm -hmm. to Atlanta, Georgia. I'm loving it. It's all of what I thought it would be, Mm -hmm. and then some. Okay. I am a newly minister. I'm loving that. I'm loving my life. I'm loving where I am right now. Uh I love the Lord. Okay. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. That's what I like. I love it. I love love it. it. Man. How long you been here in Georgia? I've been here in Georgia since 09. Okay. So you didn't see the transition of Atlanta. Yes. Oh, man. Okay. Yes, I have. How was your transition here to Georgia? My transition was pretty easy. I had a lot of family here. Uh Uh-huh. They were here before me. So I was actually the last person to come to Georgia. Okay. So it was it was very easy. I jumped right in, you know, as a new native New Yorker. We were always on the fast track, so I just jumped right in. Man, that's what's up. So my question to you, what made you get into ministry? Cuz I know everybody every minister that I talk to always have something, it could be an event or, you know, they you know, God came out of the clouds and spoke to them and said, "Ah, you Go this way. You know, so what was that thing for you that made you say, okay, I want to be a minister? Good question. Yes, that's a good question. Well, I was, I didn't just get into ministry. Mm. Back in New York, as, you know, a young woman, young lady, with, you know, my children, having children growing up, I kept them in church. So it didn't just start here. You know, sometimes we backslide, we come back, we, you know, we, we fall, you know, and then we come back. But I was always in church. Mm. So it was always in me. Even as a little girl, I'm the youngest of nine, and I was the only one in my house going to church at 12 years old, walking around the corner by myself. Wow. Mm-hmm. So something was always there. Mm. You know, I, 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 my mother didn't make me go. She made the older my older siblings go, but because I was the youngest and everybody grew up and they were much older than I was, they were hanging out doing their thing. But for some reason, I felt like I wanted to go to church. I just... Was something in your spirit. Something was in my mm. spirit to no, go to church. There's nothing wrong with that. So uh, my, this is my other question because uh, you, cause I'm, I'm looking at you very, very beautiful you have a, your your you. outfit is is banging, and <laughs> when I see you, I don't see minister. I'm gonna be honest. I'll be like, ah, this is a fashion model. I don't, I don't see I don't see minister. So, but you know, but everybody has their preach yes. notions of what how a minister is supposed to act, how they're supposed to talk, mm-hmm. how they're supposed to dress, how they're supposed to do this and that. So, right. what do you say to people when they see you and they think like maybe think the opposite? Of what a minister, how they're supposed to say, how they're supposed to, uh, how they're supposed to act, or what they're supposed to do, you know, uh, what do you say to that to people that see that and say, okay, no, you're supposed to be doing like this Misjudging way, judging you, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's definitely gonna be some judging, especially me, because when it, I'm into fashion, mm-hmm. that's just me. If yeah. you knew me, then you know, okay. She pushed the envelope. <laughs> nice. Okay. So you pushing it, day, sis. Yes, yeah, she yeah. pushed okay. the envelope. Oh, the Gio, get the shoes. You get pushing the today, shoes, sis. Gio, because she got the platform see through. I said, ah, I see. That's how you get people to minister. You be like, ah, I saw the shoes. I said, Jesus. What? <laughs> so what people really don't understand mm-hmm. is that 
God look at my heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. I could come up in here with a mini skirt on up to my neck, mm -hmm. but my heart is with the Lord. Yes. Ooh. That's the only thing that counts. Mm -hmm. That is right. You can sit here and tell me my skirt too short or my jeans too tight, mm -hmm. but God is looking at my heart. Mm -hmm. All right. I love that. Ooh. But I didn't want, you know, I don't want to be changed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be me. Right. Yeah. I know, you know, I get convicted as well when I walk out the house. Mm -hmm. Certain things I can't wear no more. Mm -hmm. If you know where I come from right. <laughs> right. and the clothes I used to wear, you would be like, ooh, honey child, you look like. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay, right. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, you know, this, this is perfect. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So what I'm saying is God looks at my heart. Mm -hmm. He don't look at my clothes, mm -hmm. and I, I didn't want anybody to, I don't want to be changed, don't change me, right. I'm who I am, that's it. Wow. I'm going to speak the word, I'm, you know, as long as I'm coming from the Bible, Yeah. that's it. Man. That's so how up. did you be able to um, transition from, well, you're still a minister, but I'm saying you also, you're an entrepreneur, and then, um, and you also make like ankle bracelets or something like that, right? Well, they're actually, they're ankle jewels. I named them ankle, ankle jewels because okay. you can put them on, you can take them off, you can wear them with any shoes. And they show up too. Okay. And I, God gave me that vision through COVID. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because oh, wow. I was kind of going out of my mind. I lost my brother, oh, wow. found him deceased in my home. Mm. COVID was here. People were, you know, dying it was it was crazy and i needed something right to do mm. and i'm like god please i need something to do i'm very mm. handy and very crafty mm -hmm. and when i started making these on the machine it just blew up wow, wow. it blew up and you know even now I, people calling me every day wow comes in every color wow you wanted to ask something? Uh, well, yeah. I, I need the bracelet and the glasses. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's just start Press there. Okay. Up, you gonna give up the you outfit? You gonna give up the you outfit got, before you leave out of here? We got a towel before you wrap you up. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, being a, a young lady who's also, um, you know, preaching and teaching the word of God as well, for me, and I'll just be transparent. It was easier to follow God in the beginning. You know, it was easier to give your life to Christ and you're so excited. You're that new Christian. you telling everybody about Jesus and then life happens. Mm -hmm. You know, people up in the church should be slipping, tripping, doing stuff that you like. Are you OK? So you're going to be jealous of my blessing, but then you're going to pray to God for a blessing. Mm. OK, this is a little backwards here. Wow. Yeah. And so my question to you would be, how is it and how do you sustain yourself Great as a minister of the gospel with all the hate that's in the church let's be real yeah. all the issues that we go through our family drama just issue after issue how do you sustain yourself as a minister great question i sustain myself by prayer mm. yeah i you, pray you about to. everything mm. everything and wow. I tried not to, you know, I, and I also asked God to deliver me from people. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So if he <laughs> delivered me from people, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Because now I'm not even going to worry about what you say or what you think about me. Mm -hmm. Right. Because he done already delivered me from you talking about my shoes or my skirt or my me, period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I pray day in and day out because without prayer... I'm telling you, it, it, nothing would happen. Yeah. Mm. Nothing would happen. Wow. Mm. So can you speak on a little bit of your women of divine power and um, the, uh, the uh, um, empowerment, women of divine empowerment? Yeah. Well, it's, um, it's called women of divine purpose, purpose and empowerment. There we go. Mm. I'm sorry. And it was mm -hmm. a vision that God gave me quite some time ago, but I wasn't in position to take on that role Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because I can truly say I was in and out. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So God is not going to allow me to minister to women 
empower women and do all of this stuff and you still in the street. Right. Now it's gonna be either or. Right. right. Gotcha. Because gotcha. if I'm gonna release these women to you, uh huh. And he knew, you know, what I had in me. He knew that, you know, that I can do it. But it's timing is everything. Mm. It is. It timing is. is everything. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. So when I finally said, you know what, God, it's a yes. And then he said yes to me. Okay. Ah, now go. Okay. Mm. So my Women of Divine Purpose and Empowerment is to empower our queens. Okay. And, you know, and to, you know, encourage them and to instill in them that my grandmother, my aunt, women in the church mm -hmm. instilled in me. Because, you know, we kind of coming away from that. Right. And I tell, you know, my cousins and my friends that's my age, we're up next. Right. Mm. A lot of the mothers in Zion done gone on home to the Lord. Okay. Right. We're up next. Uh-huh. What are you going to do? How are you going to make a difference? Who are you going to make a difference? You know, what, what are you going to do? Right. Are you going to talk to these women and, and enlighten them and tell them about the things that they need to be doing? Uh -huh. What are you going to do? Mm. And with How are you going to show yourself approved? Right. Yeah. So that's where I'm at right now. And this is a nonprofit organization mm -hmm. and I'm going forth. I'm going to have my first women empowerment dinner on the 22nd That's of good. August. Yeah. It's Ooh, called okay. Crowning of the Queens. Mm -hmm. And we're going to crown our queens. I need to be there. Okay, they get a crown. I'm just giving you this information. They get a beautiful crown. Oh, my they goodness. They get a beautiful nice. diamond crown. Every Wait a minute. Queen Where is this at? With <laughs> okay. Um, I love it. A gift. I'm, a, I'm a little jealous now because this is all just for the queens. Yes, okay. it's for the queens. Yes, it's for the queens. This is for the yes. queens. But I'm gonna say this before we shift gears. Mm -hmm. I can. You are authentic, and that's hard oh, to find. Yeah, that's yeah, very hard yeah, to yeah. find. You thank know, you. and I can tell when you know I am really in conversation with someone who is a mature Christian. You know, because you can sit up here and say anything, and then go out there and it's totally yeah. fake. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of fake people. There's a lot Absolutely. of false prophets. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> you know, um, but when you said, you know, you pray all the time, mm -hmm. and it really just resonated with me that, you know, you have to pray for people to see you how God see you. Absolutely. Uh -huh. And not how they see you. Because people up in the church house will see you how they see you. You know, has nothing to do with mm -hmm. how God sees you whatsoever. They just got their mind made up that, you know, you cue, you got on these glasses, these glasses fly. What that got to do with the Bible? Right. Uh, right, right, why right, right, you right. looking at me if you don't like it? You know, so I really appreciate you being authentic and true. Yeah. And whatever we can do here on the Living Day by Day show to support you and move you forward, you. we will definitely do that. But I know Ms. Vegas probably wants to jump into another question before we... Um, before we go into commercial break, but I want to talk about the prison, the prison ministry that you have. I've always wanted to do that. I see here on your Bible, it, it uh, on your bio, excuse me, it talked about that you are a part of a prison ministry. So talk a little bit about that. Well, I was a part of a prison mi ministry. Would love to get back into uh -huh. prison ministry uh, in New York at my church. We had a prison team that we mm. would go every Sunday morning and sing and pray to the prisoners oh wow uh -huh. and you know that was that was that was pretty awesome yeah but on the other hand and i'm just gonna say this real quick absolutely mm -hmm. god had god had to deal with me because when i went to that prison at, at one point one time mm -hmm. my son was there oh, oh wow he was there oh wow, wow. and i couldn't even sing anymore <laughs> like mm. it just took me like you know it's one thing singing to and, and praising God and, you know, bringing forth the word and, you know, to other prisoners. But when you actually see your son. Sis. It was a lot. It was different. Oh, wow. It was, it yeah. was different. It's real different. Oh, wow. All right. Well, I just have one, one question for you. Okay. All right. So um, you, you mentioned that you love, you, you sing, you love music. So what is the, your go-to song? <laughs> when that, uh, I was trying to get that, somebody to sing. I didn't say sing. And I didn't say sing the song. I said, what is the go-to song that you listen to that makes you happy? 
Oh man, I got so so many. many. Okay, so yeah, what, what's the number one? What, like, what's one of the songs that you, is your go to? That it ain't got to make you shout, you know, whatever. It, mm-hmm. It's your go to. So you're like, aha, that's my jam. <laughs> hey, <laughs> two, oh, victory, <laughs> victory shall be mine. Oh, yeah. oh. I say victory, hey. victory shall, shall be, be mine. mine. And if I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battle. Yes, victory. Victory shall be mine. Amen. He wasn't ready for that. See that? Christian came through in the clutch. She was not ready for that. Yeah, I can't not say, ready, but I'm ready. <laughs> Nikita messed it up because she was like, I don't, I don't know what note she was on. Hi, baby. <laughs> you did a great job, uh, So let's sing it. Singing is not, singing is, singing is not her calling. We already told her this. Yeah, so sing. let's go ahead. I got the victory. That's all I, I love that. I love that. That's Girl, you can that. join the choir at New Faith Christian I'm, Church, I'm baby. I'm done with y'all. <laughs> So let us go ahead and wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. Mrs. Woo-hoo. Mason, we want to say thank you. I also would like for you to be able to give the audience your social media information so they can be able to get in contact with you. And also for August the 22nd, you know, I I will be a speaker yes, there, a yeah, guest yeah. speaker. Yes, um, but I thank you for oh, your wow. part thank in you. the ministry world because we need more evangelists we need more ministers yes. that that is willing to step out and into their calling because Amen. we never know who we are and who mm-hmm. we yeah. are Absolutely. it's a difference yeah, for sure, yes. For sure. yes so mm. please be able to give everybody your information queen it's very simple marie <laughs> mason on facebook uh instagram beautiful one t- underscore 2121 uh my women empowerment Dinner, Women of Divine Purpose and Empowerment. Uh-huh. Dinner, my first dinner uh-huh. will be on August 22nd. I'm excited. You can go on uh, Eventbrite and get your tickets. They're very inexpensive. It's going to be a showdown. I have great speakers. It's a lot going on. Vendors, singers, mime dancers, gifts for everyone, yes. crowns for everyone. Yes. So it's really, 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 really going to be nice. Amazing. And thank you. And we want to say thank you so much for being a guest on Living by Day show. I will definitely get some more. You're so welcome, Queen. I'll definitely get some more information from you once we're done. We're going to definitely wrap this up. Mr. Jordan or Mrs. Kiba. Take us to break. Let's go. That's exactly (laughs) what we should be able to do. But actually, we're going to break out. We're going to break out. Well, we just want to say thank you so much for tuning into the Living Day by Day show, guys. We are going to go on another break, but we're going to come back we're going to wrap the show up yes. and we're going to give you some information about more events and more great things so stay tuned guys we're going into a commercial break but we'll be coming right back yes we'll be Let's right back go. two and two ah. two and two mega planta radio atl's number one streaming station for latin urban hits mega la estación oficial para música tropical en atlanta daddy yankee you know how we do man mega atl radio.com Long ago, you wouldn't think of galloping on a horse while doing calligraphy, and you wouldn't have attempted to ride your bike while typing a letter, yet you think you can safely operate a multi-ton vehicle while texting? Behind the wheel is no place to multitask. If you want to BRB, drive now and text later. Lives depend on it. Visit StopTextStopRex.org, a message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, Noise, and the Ad Council. When I grow up, I want to be a new pair of blue jeans. When I grow up, I want to be a kid's first computer. When I grow up, I don't want to be a piece of garbage. And if you recycle me, I won't be. Give your garbage another life. Recycle. Learn how at IWantToBeRecycled.org. Brought to you by Keep America Beautiful and the Ad Council. MegaATLRadio.com. MegaATLRadio.com. Streaming 24-7 on the Mega Atlanta Radio app. Mega Atlanta Radio app. Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back to the Living Day by Day radio show. I promise you, this show has been absolutely Uh, amazing. I often like to say God definitely put his super... On our natural today. It has been amazing. T-shirt. An amazing show. Some amazing topics and amazing guests. We thank you so much for being a part of the Ladies Day by Day show. 
this is the part of the show, guys, when we start to promote events. So, yeah. y'all know, I always like to tell you that be prepared for the Thanksgiving food drive, the Comedy for a Cure, and the toy drive that will be taking place real soon. We don't have dates yet, but I promise you it's going to occur. Well, we got a place. so no. We got a place, and we're ready to rock and okay. roll, so make sure you stay tuned yes. for more information. Yes. Living Day by Day magazine, Lamar Odom is gracing the cover of the July-August edition, and the person on the September-October edition is also fly and fabulous. So, Y'all know what I've seen him before, and I called him bougie to his face. Mm-mm. He was bougie. He is not bougie yeah, yes, at he, all. Girl, uh, uh, on, don't do that. Don't do that on my spot. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, how they say? Hey, how they say? Don't do that. Jetto. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. He was on the off day. He was on the off day. I'm sorry. I put it out there live. He was, and I told him to his face. You ain't got to act like that. He's different now. So, He's being nice. So then, I'm excited. Then he ain't going to have a nerd and tell me, oh, you don't know who I am? I was like, ha. Uh. I know who you are. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. But Our I will you. say this before yeah. I drop the mic over to E. Um, I am just really super proud of what God is doing in Lamar Odom's life. He has made yeah, so yeah, many yeah, yeah. different positive changes. Okay. And for me, it's an honor for him to grace the cover mm. of the Living Day by Day magazine. What you got, E? Okay. Yeah, so what, coming up, so right now, once again, you can, uh, if you want to get your T-shirt, get your T-shirt right now. It says, T-shirts. Uh, smile every day. Uh-huh. Uh, smile every day. You got got one of my t-shirts going on, and then also I got my candles. Hold the candle. Hold the, hold the candle. Boom! I got my candles going too as well. So I got yes. me uh, these wonderful candles right here. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Jordan for life apparel. Uh, mind, body, and soul. Uh, so, I said swole. Yeah. So uh, I heard sweet, that. Sweetest and taboo. I love it. And then I'm getting ready to be in a stage play. It's called The Almighty. So be looking out for that. Okay. That's going to be taking place on October 15th. We're in rehearsals right now. It is a gospel version of The Wiz. It's going to be out there in the Flint River Community Center. Uh, we'll be performing and doing that. So that'll be on October the 15th. Okay. And, and I'll be traveling on October 9th, uh, 8th through the 9th. Uh, be doing a camp uh, for a discipleship. Gonna be telling some jokes, taking my t-shirts, taking my candles. Okay. Gotta get some coins because kids yes. are expensive. <laughs> All right then. And with me, ladies and gentlemen, y'all know I'm forever planning and plotting and you know just trying to be great here in the ATL. Don't forget, I do have the ATL shirts. You can be able to change the ATL to VA. Be more wherever you live at. Just be great at what you do. Come on, snatch some of these shirts from your girl. And I also have, you know, the essence of you, me, that perfume. is like a breath of fresh air. I'm Ooh, telling you, you're going to snatch up your husband with that perfume. I'm just going to spray it. Let me be quiet. Um, anyway, um, so what are the things that are coming up? Um, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I, when I was down in Beckley, West Virginia, we do have... The theater out there. We have the Raleigh Theater. And we have, me and Mrs. Charles, we have put like four different dates that are on the calendar that we will definitely be bringing the music back. Okay? Oh, wow. So nice. I'm definitely going to be working on that, four different projects. And then not just on top of that, the comedy we going to plug that in because, you know, I already got the place. We can ready to set that up. And then shout out to Future Gents because I, I just I'm now a part of a motherhood is, um, you know, because I'm a single mother of a young king Mm -hmm. and uh we're trying to actually do a lot more with these young kings actually they just went to the atlanta falcons training camp they just had it over the weekend and again like i said shout out to them shout out to all the moms shout out to mrs mason for putting me on your platform for august the 22nd i'll be putting that commentary up for y'all to definitely tune in come buy some tickets come out just support us period we need to do more of that we need to bring the black wall street back yeah, power to the people. <laughs> awesome. But with that being said, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us today on Living Day by Day. Shout out to Miss Lakiva. Shout out to Eric. Shout out to Miss Mason. Of yes. course, I am your girl, Miss V. Oh, and it. shout out to Gio, Gio the best engineer around. around. We so thank y'all so yes. much, guys, for tuning into another broadcast of the Living Day by Day yeah, show. Yes. We always say, make sure you stop by our website website livingdaybyday.net and guess what we love you real good and yes. you can't do nothing about it Booyah! until next time be blessed guys peace, peace. Next peace out hey. yeah y'all
Yeah. MC Raw. MC Raw. <laughs> <laughs> Love every last one of y'all. <laughs> right. I Thank y'all so y'all much, guys. We crazy here. <laughs> Mega <laughs> Atlanta Radio event. I thank you so much for tuning in. Omar, thank you. Hey. You're listening to the number one digital radio station in the A. Mega Atlanta Radio. Mega Atlanta Radio. Streaming all your Latin urban dance.